Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm starting today's vlog on a Saturday. I obviously just woke up and I was trying to sleep in this morning, but Cash does this thing every single morning on the weekdays where he jumps in bed right at around seven, which is when I want to wake up, so I never really mind. But on Saturdays, sometimes I'm trying to sleep in a little bit and it is just not the move. And so I woke up at 7.30 today, which wasn't too early. Totally fine. I am so excited for the next few days. We're just having a lot of fun we have a lot of stuff planned too i think it's going to be a pretty jam-packed next few days but we're starting off with just a chill saturday woke up drank my coffee did my devotional all that good stuff and now i'm really excited in the next little bit we're actually going to head to the farmer's market and we're going to a new one it's called saint michael's we don't go to farmer's markets that often but we've only ever been to the really big one in dallas i think it's just the dallas farmer's market and sometimes it's just a little bit overwhelming. I'm looking forward to going to one that's a bit more chill. And I'm so excited for tonight because me and my sisters are actually going to a Killers concert, which is so random. We got these tickets forever ago, but I'm so looking forward to it because I feel like I haven't just hung out with my sisters in a while. If you guys don't know, I have two older sisters. My sister Jamie started a new job, so she's been really busy. And then my sister Lindsay is a photographer and then she also has two kids. So her schedule's just crazy. And so it's gonna be really fun to have just a night with my sister. I'm really really looking forward to that and then on Monday I'm really looking forward to getting our bed frame that's coming in so I'll share that so yeah just the next few days I am hoping to get some stuff at the farmers market today I am filming a reel sharing like ways to have fun without having to spend money <laughs> and I was thinking of just browsing the farmers market not buying anything for the sake of the reel but I do think I'm gonna try to get a few things if there's still a lot in stock so we're gonna do that cheat a little bit on the reel but I do love getting some farmers market fine so I'll show you guys what we get excited to vlog for the next few days we're about to head out and i just changed into this little dress this is actually from rent the runway which i'm trying out this month i'm really excited i really like the pieces that i got this one's just a cute little yellow dress and then i just threw on my converse got my tote bag in case i want to pick anything up and we're headed out farmer's market i ended up buying a few things here and there i wasn't trying to but there's one place that we always like to go to it's called sweet harvest and they have a bunch of produce that's probably my favorite and then yeah we got stuff from there and then also some eucalyptus right here i love having eucalyptus in our home especially in our shower i will hang this and even when it dries out it's still really nice but i got two bunches and there's so much so we're gonna figure out where to put those. It's nice this week because we have our every plate, so we don't really need a bunch of stuff for meals. So I just picked up produce stuff. Also met two sweet viewers too, which was so nice. It was Madison and Paige, which always makes my day meeting people too. So thanks for saying hey. First up, I've never bought this before, but this is just like raw honey. And I use honey all the time in my yogurt bowls, oatmeal. I use honey on a bunch of different stuff. And so I've always wanted to try and see if this makes a difference, if it tastes better than just buying like honey at the grocery store or something. So we're gonna try that. This is more for decor, but we got the cutest little, I don't know if this is technically a squash or a pumpkin or just a gourd. Eden says it's a gourd, but I thought it was super cute. And it's so cute how it's like small and flat, but we'll put that somewhere. Got a couple of peaches. And then we also have, these are our favorite things to get there. Their berries are so good. Some strawberries and then some blackberries. And I'm just gonna rinse those off too with my little produce wash that I have from Trader Joe's. Put this stuff away and then make some lunch.
say how nice it has been being home. I feel like after traveling for so long, I just appreciate having Saturdays at home so much more and just having time to chill out, do house stuff, to go to the farmer's market. It's getting cooler too out and my heart is just so happy right now. I'm also really happy because I have time to make an actual lunch. I feel like sometimes I just breeze through lunch, but I'm gonna make Aiden nice some lunch since it's Saturday and he's home. And like I mentioned, we have our every plate. So I'm gonna make one of these meals and I'm so thankful to be partnering with every plate. You guys have probably heard of them before because they are the best meal kit out there and they're also the most affordable meal kit I do want to note that I have a discount with every plate you can go to everyplate.com and enter the code Michelle 149 and that gets you each meal for a dollar 49 which is just crazy here are our options that we have I think I'm gonna make these these are the honey dill chickpea bowls they sound so good we have charred corn tacos those also sound good and then lastly we have chicken sausage and roasted tomato linguine and I think this sounds better for a dinner so between these two, I think because we had tacos last night, I'm gonna go ahead and do the chick peoples. We've been doing the veggie kit with like one meat recipe and I feel like that's the perfect thing for me, especially for lunch, I don't always need meat. And that's one of the great things about every plate is you can customize your kit. So if you prefer to have a meatless option, they have a veggie kit. If you prefer to have it for two people versus four people, super easy to customize exactly for what you want. If you don't like a certain meat, like I don't like pork, so I get them without pork. Super easy to customize and they just have so many options. I'm so excited for fall coming in to see what fall recipes that we have coming up. And then also these are just good staple recipes too that are super quick to put together. I mean, this one's gonna come together in 25 minutes, which is great. I love cooking. It's one of those things that I really enjoy doing, but as I've talked about trying to kind of free up my margin of time, every plate is great for that because you don't have to go to the grocery store and source everything and it's all fresh. I feel like a lot of times with meal kits, you don't have to go to the grocery store, but that also means you're not picking out your produce so it's not always the freshest but every plate is great because everything's just so fresh and it tastes amazing the only sad thing is i'm out of claw clips i feel like i always tie my hair back with claw clips when i cook we're gonna have to use a scrunchie today which is totally fine i had to interrupt to say that i tried the honey 10 times better than normal honey i feel like i could taste the honeycomb it is so good like isn't that crazy you can just see the honeycomb in there amazing just finished lunch i just realized that we've actually made this one before and it's really really good so just a reminder that you guys can try every plate for just a dollar 49 per meal by going to everyplate.com and entering the code michelle 149. Mm. can you pull that side of the wire yeah pull it tight yeah. go keep going i'll put it right there are you sure the wire is going to stay I mean, let me look at the case, make sure. Make sure. That's only like 50 pounds, right? Yeah, he needs to go higher. Got it. It's on. Why am I nervous? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Did it pull the thing off? I told you. No it's... way. <laughs> You're fresh. I guess so we needed higher. a bigger wire. So, okay, we'll just do it the other way. Oh, wait. Let me see if we have a other. No, the wire's not gonna work. That's so dumb. I told you. Okay, I'm actually laughing so hard right now because that clip I just showed you, we decided that we were gonna finally hang up some stuff in our apartment because we've been putting this off for so long. We're like, okay, we're gonna do one thing today. We go to hang up this painting and Aiden is so convinced that he can use wire to do it by stringing wire. And I was like, I really don't think it's gonna hold it. But sometimes in marriage, you just gotta have faith. You gotta have hope and try anyways. <laughs> And we tried it and it just totally came crashing down. So he's going to Home Depot right now to try to get something else and try to hang it with me before I'm going to this concert. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready though just because I am anticipating it taking me a little bit longer to figure out what I wanna wear just because I don't really go to concerts. Like I don't know what one wears to a killer's concert. And so we're gonna have to go in the closet and see if we have any good options. Definitely just have one of those getting ready sessions where your closet is a disaster because you try on everything that you own. So gonna have a fun time cleaning that later. But here's what we ended this with. This is from Lulu's. I shared this in my recent haul that I showed online. I think it's really cute. And then I just threw on this oversized shirt that's from H&M. I feel like it's a little weird because this cuts here and then the dress cuts here, but I don't really care. It's just gonna have to do. Converse, my bag is from Anthropology, And then I also just threw on some bigger hoops that are also from Anthropology.
Sunday morning. Last night's concert was so, so much fun. I didn't realize how many of the killer songs that I knew. And so it just made it so much for fun just getting to dance and let loose. And of course it was so much fun to spend time with my sisters. Like I mentioned, we just hadn't done something like that in so long. And I really don't go to that many concerts. It really made me want to go to more concerts though, because they're just so much fun. And I loved that the crowd at the killers was so mixed of like all different different ages but everyone was just having so much fun there was this couple in front of us and they were so cute they were dancing the whole time just so into it i think they must have been like in their probably 40s i would guess and they were just having so much fun and it was just such a nice vibe of a concert and they were such great performers too like the dancing the lights it was a ton of fun but i will say that i got back last night at one and I didn't go to bed till like 1.45 because Aiden and I stayed up talking last night, which always happens when I've been gone for a while. And so I slept in a little bit, not even like that, that long. I slept until eight. I just can't sleep in too long for some reason. Now it's Sunday, like I mentioned, we're gonna go to church here soon. I'm gonna get ready here in a little bit. I'm just having kind of like a nice morning, hanging out with Cash, chilling out. Just been my starter because I think I'm gonna try to make some bread either today I'm gonna start my Levon or tomorrow, so we'll do that probably just have like a prep day for the rest of the week get some things in order around the house we talked about even getting a storage unit today i don't know if you can do that same day but we were really wanting to get some stuff out of the apartment so possibly do that of course i will let you guys know what we get up to just got ready for church i'll show you guys my outfit this dress is actually another rent the runway piece i love it i think it's so so beautiful and i also like it because it ties in the back which is just so cute and then my shoes that i'm wearing are just these boots from lulu's thought it gave it kind of more of a fall vibe since it is a little bit summery my purse is from target back now from church it was such a great service every now and then they will do like a full kind of orchestra at our church and it's always just so nice seeing people who are so talented at like symphonies and music i feel like i don't have a lot of musical talent so i always just really appreciate that and appreciate that it definitely does remind you of all the goodness of god and it was just a really, really great sermon. Today is also 9-11, and I just wanted to say that I'm thinking of anyone who has family members or relatives that I'm thinking of you. I always remember being in New York during this time. It was always a, obviously it's an incredibly somber day, but just the vibe there on 9-11, it was like the whole city was quiet. I always felt like it was a day of just silence there. So I just wanted to say that I am thinking of you. But now it is about one o'clock and we're gonna go to the pool for a little bit. I'm gonna get some sun down there, probably just for an hour and a half and then come back upstairs and get the house in order a little bit. I have a little bit of work to do today too. So we're gonna do that. Our car needs something fixed too. So I think Aiden's gonna try to take the car. We need to get our registration updated and our car inspected just to do that. So I think he's gonna get that done. I saw the flashes in the dark colors on the wall bright against the monochrome where i felt so small back now from the pool and i picked up a package that i've been excited to get for a while so i'm gonna open it this is from etsy and i had ordered these covers for my sourdough starter and then also oh these are so cute i had ordered these covers for my sourdough starter and also for my bowl that i use when i make dough because I use those weft jars behind me. Also, my hair is a little crazy right now. And I actually dropped one of the jars and so the lid broke on it. So I've been meaning to, oh, I've been meaning to get these cute little covers. So we have this one. Oh yeah, I think this one's for my bowl. So cute. I love the look of like the little wildflowers. So pretty and it's nice because these are reusable so you can just pop them in the wash. These ones are definitely my favorite. They're like these little dandelion sunflowers so cute so let's put it on oh it's a little too big it's okay <laughs> yeah true i didn't actually measure though i think that was my fault i was trying to order it pretty quickly but i think they're super duper cute that one works a lot better but 
I thought those were sweet. I will have those linked down below. I will say that the shipping did take like a couple of weeks or a few weeks. So I wouldn't be super urgent. And these aren't even technically necessary. I think you can just leave your sourdough with the lid open, but it just looks a little bit cleaner to have these on top. I did want to say one thing before I went to bed because I'm about to head to sleep, but this right here is probably the clearest my skin has been since I dealt with breakouts after getting off of hormonal birth control. If you guys have been around for a while, I've talked about how my skin went crazy. I will insert some photos here and I think there are a few things that have helped clear up my skin, but in the past week especially, like this is my skin. I just put on moisturizer, but I don't have anything on right now. I do have quite a bit of scarring on this side of my face, but I am so happy my skin is finally somewhat cleared up. I feel like I'm gonna jinx it by saying this, um, but I wanted to put this in here if you're dealing with especially hormonal acne after like going off of birth control or anything that it does get better. It takes so long. I mean, I went off in December, and it is September when I'm recording this. And so it has been a long time coming. And I definitely have started to notice now that my skin breaks out, especially when I'm stressed and I'm not getting great sleep. So maybe I might get some breakouts after this weekend, but it is so much better. And I think I'm gonna share like an upcoming skincare routine too and a morning routine coming up. But for now, I'm just gonna soak in this moment of my skin actually being somewhat more clear. And I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup either. and just feels really good so it gets better i promise i have been through it i know how it feels it's not fun going through dealing with acne i've dealt with acne since i was like in high school so i get it this also might just be a couple of days of clear skin and not like i'm through it all completely but for now i'm soaking it up Happy Monday, I just got ready. It's actually about noon today. I'm carrying the vlog into Monday because we have some fun things going on. I just threw on a dress for fun. I feel like every now and then it just feels good to get a little bit more dressed up. I'm actually headed out to go to a doctor's appointment or a dermatologist appointment. So I'm gonna head out here in a second. And I wanted to share that our bed frame actually just came in, actually came in around nine o'clock and everything was so smooth. So this one is from Rove. It's a company that I found makes a very similar kind of cloud-like bed to the soft frame one that we did not have a great experience ordering from. But this one was great. You could schedule the delivery and everything and they brought it up so smoothly. We just don't have space to put this together right now and so that'll probably be in a future vlog i will share what it actually looks like once we clean out the bedroom and everything so that'll be in another vlog but i'm so excited to put this together i think it's gonna look really really nice in our bedroom i still need to throw on some shoes i'm probably just gonna wear sandals but this is the dress i'm wearing it's from my newly order but it's originally from free people i think it's so pretty especially for fall i really like the gold color and honestly dresses for me are just more comfortable than wearing pants so. i just got here to my appointment and i'm here today i'm keeping it real i have warts on my knees that will not go away i've actually been here probably three times maybe this is a sign i should go somewhere else but i think i just have very stubborn warts that do not want to stay away so I'm getting them removed again, which is not fun. And I figured I would balance this out with something that is fun. And that's going to Trader Joe's. I have seen on Instagram that they're starting to get some fall stuff in. I'm pretty sure around like September 10th is usually when they get stuff in. So I figured after we could head there and just see what we want to pick up. I don't want to get like a crazy amount of stuff. We don't even need that many groceries. I always love fall at Trader Joe's. It makes me really happy. Might be the Monday pick me up we need, even though I don't even need a pick me up. I'm in a great mood today. Had such a productive morning, got a lot of work stuff done. The bed frame situation was great. About to get my warts removed, going to Trader Joe's. It's just all in all been a great day. And the weather is beautiful when i have started walking cash in the morning it's been in the 60s i've been kind of chilly and i'm all here for it so we're gonna go ahead and head in here and then i'll catch you guys out hi how are you good what can i get for you could I just do a grande of the pumpkin cream cold brew? Do you guys have your spinach feta wraps too? We do. Can I just do one of those? Thank you. Thank you. I did save my one coffee a day for this drink, but I will say I posted on my story about how I've been wanting to do like a caffeine cleanse of just trying to go without coffee at all for a week or a month. And I had such great responses. I would say most of the responses said, 
it was really helpful for them to kind of like learn how their body was dependent. It was incredibly hard, but it was good for them. And then I also had quite a few people to say it was really, really difficult and it gave them really bad migraines. So you just kind of have to know what you're getting into and do it gradually. And it's just crazy how much of an addiction coffee could be. I mean, I've been drinking coffee since I was like a freshman in high school, seriously. And so it's been almost 10 years of me consuming caffeine but the pumpkin cream cold brew just gets me every time it's the one drink at starbucks that i let myself have probably once a week or so picked up one of those got some lunch too and we're gonna head to trader joe's We're back. I'm gonna share a little fall haul from Trader Joe's. I really didn't get a ton of stuff. They definitely had more than this, but these are all of my favorites personally. And then a couple things I think I haven't tried yet. But first they had the cutest pumpkins. I have no idea where I'm gonna put these. I really don't need more pumpkins, but they're always so cheap at Trader Joe's. So I love to get them there. I can't wait till we have a porch one day and I can make it all cute. Cause they just have the most beautiful little pumpkin. So got a couple of those. And then for the fall things that we got. I really love these. I love all of their flavors of the hold the cones. They're like the perfect size for just having a little sweet treat at night. I've never tried the pumpkin pancake and waffle mix, which I can't believe I've never done. So we're going to try this. This is something that I feel like wouldn't taste very good, but it has to be good if they sell it. So I think they sell it every single year, but it's the pumpkin spice hummus. I'm very intrigued, so we'll see how that is. This is not pumpkin, but I also saw this and it looked good. It's the it's this Greek style yogurt dip with corn. I think they have this year round, but wanted to try that. Big fan of the pumpkin JoJo's. I think these are delicious as well as their pumpkin bread and muffin mix. This is so, so good. I'm definitely gonna make this probably this week or next week, because I love that. And then lastly, I just picked up these almond croissants because I showed myself making the chocolate croissants in a recent vlog and a ton of people said that these are even better. So we're gonna see if that is true. And that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up a little bit of work. And then tonight we are actually going to F45. We've only been doing probably one or two classes a week. And I feel like that's a good cadence right now for going there and not getting burnt out of it. So we're going there tonight. Just changed for tonight's workout. Just wearing a little lemon tank. And then my biker shorts are from Story. These are my favorite biker shorts too. They're just really comfortable and not super tight. On the balcony Aiden's taking a shower and then we're actually headed to the Katie Trail Ice house we're gonna go just enjoy the evening because it is so nice it's gonna get down to 65 so we're just gonna enjoy it take cash with us to get some dinner walk him a little bit and enjoy this cooler weather dinner which was so nice we also walked to cash too and i just whipped up some of my levon i'm gonna make some bread tomorrow i'm gonna head to bed because i'm tired it's about 10 o'clock i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i also wanted to say that i met hannah tonight at the ice house a sweet subscriber here so i just wanted to say thanks for saying hi actually she recognized cash technically she saw cash at the table and was like oh my gosh this is cash so sweet her dog's name was lulu too she was really cute. I'm gonna head to bed. Again, if you guys wanna check out Every Plate 2, I'll have them linked down below. You can use my code Michelle149 to get your first box for just $1.49 per meal at everyplate.com. So I'll have that linked down below. Thank you guys for being here and I'll catch you guys in my next video.